Hey guys, welcome to the Massive Iron Channel. I'm Steve Shaw. In this video, I'm going to answer the question, how often do you need to change workouts? Before I get into that topic, if you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. The best topic ideas I turn into videos just like this. All right, before I dive into things, I want to talk about Alpha Destiny. I want to talk about Fast Lifts. I want to talk about my new podcast. Check out the link down below. I got a new podcast up, four episodes, so check it out. Please subscribe, link down below. All right, still getting this question quite a bit, and I thought I would circle back, circle back, circle back. Everyone likes to say that in 2021, so I'm going to circle back and talk about it a little bit. How often do you need to change workouts? A lot of my clients, uh, a fair share of them, We'll ask that question eventually during coaching. Coaching, how often do I need to change workouts? The answer is pretty much never. And let me explain before you get triggered. There are some reasons to change workouts, okay? If you're lifting for a long period of time, 5, 10, 15, 20, 30 years, I'm not telling you not to try new things. Obviously, if you need a mental break or want to try something for education, that's perfectly fine. 100% fine. But trying new things and trying to learn new things is different than the fear that if you don't change workouts, and this is the important part, if you don't change workouts, your gains are going to stall. You need to change workouts to shock your muscles. To shock your muscles, kids. You need to change workouts to shock your muscles. Okay, that's bullshit. To repeat, to paraphrase the last sentiment, that's bullshit. You do not need to change workouts to shock your muscles. That's bullshit. A workout, workout A, workout B... If you look at them intelligently and wisely, lift up the hood and inspect the exercises, here's a news flash. It's the same damn exercises. So you're shocking the muscles by going from workout A to workout B that has the same exercises. Does that make any sense to you? Does that make any sense? But I'm going from eight rep barbell rows to... This different scheme of pyramiding and drop setting barbell, come on. It's still all about progressive overload. That's the shocking your muscles that you need. Now, the true thing we need to worry about, and this is a pillar of my massive iron philosophy, is evolving your program based on needs. I've probably said that, oh, I don't know, 500 times in my videos. Evolving programming based on needs. That's what you need to worry about instead of shocking your muscles, okay? Evolving your program based on needs. And I hope your kids or dogs aren't watching because I don't want to shock them with my ridiculously bad humor, okay? So what you need to worry about is evolving your programming based on needs. What does that mean? Okay, you go into the gym and you do barbell rows for 10 rep sets. You do three by 10 and you discover... I don't really like 10 rep sets. It puts too much strain on my lower back. But if I drop to eight, my lower back feels great. That's evolving your programming. You are moving from one reasonable option, evolving to another reasonable option. What's an unreasonable option? Let's say you get in the gym and you try them their barbell squats. You try them their barbell squats. And you think, I don't like them their barbell squats. Because my mangina, my mangina gets a little bit sore. My ego is bruised. And they're just too fucking hard, right? Okay, so you don't like barbell squats. That's fine. But you can't swap them for anything other than an equal type of exercise. You can't swap out barbell squats for, say, leg extensions. You have to swap it out for something equal. That's a reasonable change. That's a reasonable evolutionary change. What if you want to try a new exercise? Well, it's best to rotate it in, like barbell squats one week, front squats the next, whatever. 
So what we want to do is focus on evolving your program based on needs. When you're in the gym, what's working, what isn't working, you might try a few things at the end of your workout, and you evolve your program. Any advanced lifter, when you look at their program, you're like, how did they get to that, that point? How did they get there? What they did was they evolved their program over needs. This exercise hurts my shoulders because of this, because of my limb links, I can't bench like that, so I do this variation, et cetera, et cetera. Wise evolution of programming is what you need to keep you injury-free and keep the gains train, choo-choo, mick-choo, coming, right? To keep the gains train coming. You need evolution of programming. You do not need to shock your muscles by jumping from one program to another program that has the same fucking exercises. Does that make sense to you? No, it doesn't. So when is it a good time to change programs? When you need a mental break, when you've established a track record of building strength and muscle and want to try something different to learn, that's perfectly fine. But don't ever, 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 let me circle back to that last sentence, ever change programs because you think you need to shock the muscles. So guys, hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. If you made it this far in this video and have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. I'd appreciate the support. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.